Hey girl, hey, so I am going to be doing a March favorites video and I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably like, Christy, what the heck is wrong with you because we all know that you hate monthly favorites videos, but let me just clear some air here. Yes, I'm not the biggest fan of monthly favorite videos just because it's like all there is in like the week span changing of the month and it's like I feel like everyone does them so I shouldn't but like at the same time I was thinking about it and I was like what does it matter if I don't like it like I don't have to watch it but I know that a lot of people love monthly favorites videos so I thought what's the point of me depriving you of that if you want to see it and it like it doesn't really make a difference to me because I just upload it I don't have to like watch it or anything make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like favorites videos just so I know for future reference I'm just trying it out maybe for the next couple months to do monthly favorites videos and see how it goes so yeah let's get started into my March favorites this is kind of weird because I don't think I've ever done a monthly favorite video I really don't have that much makeup to, like makeup makeup I have like a lot of other beauty stuff but um, I didn't really go crazy buying makeup this month at all. I barely bought any. But um, what I did buy, or just things I rediscovered, um, I really like. So we'll start. The first one you guys probably know, I'm obsessed with my new foundation. This is the Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation, and it is so amazing. I did a whole video. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be my last video, the one I uploaded before this. And it's like a demo and a little bit of a review talking about this foundation. And it's just so amazing. Such good coverage, but natural looking and easy and blendable. The color's good. It feels good on your skin. It really doesn't feel like you're wearing it. And overall, I just think it's a really great foundation. And it'll work for a lot of different people with a lot of different skin types. So I've been wearing this almost every day. Okay, and next is the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the color Yogurt. This is just, if you guys know what a NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil is, it just looks like this. It's just basically a big eyeliner that's used as a shadow base or like a cream shadow. And it's this really pretty pinky champagne color. So if you can see that, I love this all over the lid, blend it out. And it gives the perfect base for like any neutral eye look. And it just makes it shimmery, well not shimmery, but it gives it like a shine to kind of adhere to and I think it's just so versatile with like a ton of different eye looks if you kind of blend it out there it just really gives it like a pearlescent look underneath um but this isn't really colored per se it's just like not black or brown but like the gold I talked about this is the Urban Decay El Dorado I've been using this so much on my waterline and it's just like the prettiest yellow gold color and it's just like really really fun for spring to kind of brighten up your eyes on the lower lash line or upper lash line if you want like Cinna from the Hunger Games okay sorry Hunger Games obsession right here my other one that I really really liked is NARS Kyoto or Kyoto oh my god I literally mess that up every time but it just looks like this and NARS eyeliner there's a little swatch on the back of it and it's just this really pretty kind of deep olivey green with gold in it and there we go. It's kind of like off the beaten path of an eyeliner color you'd look for. I don't know if you can really see that. The camera's not really doing the greenish gold justice, but it is really unique and I really like this on my waterline because especially for my eye color, if you have like hazily kind of amber brown eyes, I think this would do great because it always makes my eyes pop. And then my last actual makeup product, which I know I really didn't talk about very much, this is the MAC Plush Class. It's actually the lip gloss I'm wearing at this very moment as we speak. Um, I didn't plan that, that's funny. And this is such a pretty color. This is in the color Fashion Fanatic. And it is actually from, I don't remember what collection it was, last spring. They had a matte collection. And I'm not sure if they put this as permanent or not. I'm sorry if it's not. But I got this when I was in New York for eye mats. And it is the prettiest shimmery baby pink kind of corally undertone color. And I love plush glasses because they kind of like plump your lips, plush them up, plush glass. Um, yeah, that was really strange. Rather sheer in a good way. Um, pretty pink color. And it's really nice and neutral and gets your lips nice sheen. I have three nail polishes that I'm really, really loving that I wore in this month that I really liked. So that's why I'm kind of talking about them. I actually just put it on um, the other day and I really, really like it. And it's what I'm wearing right now. And it's... <coughs> I actually caught that. That was pretty skilled. My tripod, it like bounced off. Okay, I have a problem. I drop things a lot. Anyway, let's compose ourselves and continue with the video. This is Borrowed in Blue by Essie and it is such a pretty 
kind of powdery baby blue color. And I love light pastel colors for the spring, you guys know. And I was worried that this was going to be like streaky on your nails, but this is only two light coats and I think it did a really good job and it really wasn't that bad on the first coat either. Next is another Essie because I'm an Essie fanatic, um, obviously. And this one, oh, I love this one so much for spring. This is Playdate. It's such a unique kind of orchid medium toned purple color. So um, it's just beautiful and I don't know about you, but I don't see these colors very often and I think it's like perfect medium, not too pastel, but not too dark um, purple. So holler. Last is a kind of neutrally rose gold color, which is Orly Rage. So pretty. Like look at the finish of this. It just, ugh. if you see it on nails, it's just amazing. And I love this so much. It's just so pretty. Like look at it. I don't even have words. You just need to look. Uh, moving on to scents, um, another thing that I talked about my spring things tag, I know, but I've been loving things for spring because it's kind of spring now. Taylor Swift Wonderstruck Perfume in a rollerball form. I love the scent of this, like, I've been wearing it a lot lately. Um, I've started to wear it, like, almost every day. It just smells nice and light and airy and floral and kind of vanilla and spring. It just... Mm, I'm just gonna always think of spring when I smell this now because I just kind of, like, associated it with it. But it's such a pretty little bottle, too. And then another one from Spring Things. I know. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Dream On Body Splash. Body Mist. My apologies. I bought this um, kind of the beginning, middle-ish of the month. And I've been wearing it almost every day also. Is it weird to wear perfume and like a spritz of body spray? Is that too much? I don't know. Because I do it. I just feel like it complements the Taylor Swift one really well. Because it has like the similar like smell but it's different at the same time it has more vanilla and it's kind of just more like bright and I don't even know I don't even know but it smells really good and next is something I got kind of sort of recently ish it was kind of like over a week ago so I've had enough chance to try it out but this is the lush ocean salt face and face and body scrub and this is like a really good um, exfoliating scrub and it looks like that. I already used it, so I mixed it up a little bit so it kind of looks a little disheveled, but I can already smell it and I just like opened it. Mm, I think it smells so good. Basically, you just like mix it up and use it to exfoliate. And it does the job. It made my skin super soft after I used it. I was like, whoa, man, it's been a while since my skin's been this soft. I mean, I feel like it is a tad bit on the abrasive side, but if you just use a light hand and kind of the way you apply it, you can make it work. But otherwise, I just think it's really good. I've only used it like twice. Um, but I haven't had any problems with it, so I think it'll be great. Here's our do dear friend, Kokeeb, Kokeb, I'm probably saying that wrong, I'm sorry, maybe I should edit that out. I also went to Bath and Body Works on that same shopping trip, you probably saw my haul. Um, god, I love that place. This soap, I got it, and I didn't really think I was gonna be that fond of it when I got it, I just thought it was, like, the best one out of the ones up there, and I knew I wanted soap, so, but I was like, eh, you know, my mom will like it, she likes coconut, but this is the Paradise Coconut. Foaming hand soap and oh my god, I love this stuff. It smells so good and it just like makes me want to wash my hands. So um, I definitely recommend getting a good smelling soap if you have a problem remembering to wash your hands because you'll never forget, man. It smells good. Okay, and I got a new body wash um, this month, which is different because I usually always use the exact same one. It's like this grapefruit one. But the bottle would always break. It was, it was kind of like, like, it looked cool, but it just was not very functional. And it was kind of expensive, which I didn't realize. But finally, I was just at the drugstore and I saw this. I was like, you know what? This comes with a lot. It doesn't look too complicated. Just like, bam, open it. And it smells so good. Okay, it's like wet because it was in the shower. Ugh, Christy problem. This is the Clean and Clear Body Boost Mango and Papaya Morning Burst Badoosh. So yeah, just look at it. It's so fun, bright orange. It comes with a ton in here. And it was like really cheap. It was like $4 or $5 or something. And it's 16 ounces. That's like intense. It lathers up well. It like, you don't even need to use that much of it because a little goes a long way. And it smells so fresh and fruity and totally something you'd want to wear for the spring. Well, not wear, but wash yourself with. Also in the shower, I've been loving the Wen Sweet Almond Mint Cleansing Conditioner. Um, I don't think I put this in my other favorites. I hope I didn't. I really, really actually like this a lot. It's a cleansing conditioner, so you could kind of use it, like, as a shampoo also, but I don't do that. I use shampoo separately. Um, but this, it just, like, it's really natural. It's, like, sulfate-free and all this stuff, so it doesn't, like, lather that much. 
Um, but what it, it's just like smells really good. It just like, you can, it's one of those shampoo or conditioners that even after your hair is already washed and you're just like walking, walking down the hall in school or whatever, you'll just get like random wafts of it like smelling and it smells so good. And it makes your hair super smooth too. And a rediscovered product, um, this body lotion from Victoria's Secret, it's the Beauty Rush. The, the packaging's probably changed by now because I've had this for so long. Yeah, see, it says new, but it's a total lie. It's the Beauty Rush Candy Baby Body Drink Lotion. This smells so good. And I had completely forgotten about it because I just kind of shoved it in the drawer of my Beauty Tower Power. And, like, I just love it. Like, if you guys kind of picked up on this, tr like, trend pattern that I love sweet scents. And this is, like, the epitome of a perfect sweet lotion scent. It smells so good and yummy, but not, like, too overpoweringly sugary or anything. And it's just like super smooth when you put it on and it moisturizes a lot and I just really really like it. That's all my like products that I want to talk about but now I just have a couple of random like non-beauty favorites. Definitely the Hunger Games movie. I went to see it last night at midnight and I don't want to like talk about it too much um, in case you haven't seen it. I'm not going to like spoil anything but my opinion was they did a really good job, um, but there were a lot of things left out. Like, obviously they couldn't include everything. It was already long enough. But there were just a few little details that they really wouldn't have had to, like, do much to put them in. And they would have added a lot, in my opinion. Um, so I think they missed out on a couple crucial little details. Um, but at the same time, overall, it was really well done. And... It didn't quite live up to my expectations, but I thought they did good. My favorite TV show, I've actually started watching The Biggest Loser, and I'm obsessed with that show now. Um, I watched, like, the entire season on Hulu, and I'm just watching it every week now. It's on Tuesdays, and I just think it's a really good show. Like, I'm not usually that into reality television, unless it's, like, The Kardashians. Um... That's about it. This one is actually good because it's like people getting healthy, but it's still entertaining and it's like some working towards like a good thing. And as far as books go, I didn't necessarily read these this month, but I read them like since my last favorites video, so I didn't include them in that. The book Divergent, I loved that book so much. I think it was like the first book I read after The Hunger Games. And it's a similar concept, like the futuristic dystopian kind of setting. Um, I really like those books, like I discovered through The Hunger Games and Divergent and stuff like that, that I really do like those books. So if you have any books like that that you would recommend, totally leave them in the comments and I'll check them out because I need a new book to read. But anyway, Divergent is such a good book. Like, literally, you guys know how obsessed I am with The Hunger Games and I think Divergent was almost as good, like if not as good, to be honest. It's really good. It's about a girl who lives in futuristic Chicago and um, society is divided into these like factions which is just like different um, sections of society that stand for different morals and it's about her facing her struggle to select a new faction and kind of change her life um, to surround it so but it's really good so I definitely recommend that and the next one Insurgent comes out May 1st so I'm super excited. I'm pretty sure they're making a movie out of it but it's not for a couple more years so I'm not gonna get too excited about that but I think it'd be so fun to play Triss, um, the main character. That'd be like the best role. Anyway, um, but I'm not really an actor. I'm just kind of a YouTuber but whatever. If I was an actor I'd love to play Triss. Also the series called Matched. Um, it's also another futuristic kind of thing. Oh my god, that is so good. Also, um, I read the first two and the third one doesn't even come out till like next f or this fall or something, I think. It's about a girl who is like in her society, um, you get matched. They use like a ton of statistics and scientific um, things to kind of put their society together and it's not on emotion or anything. So you get matched with someone instead of like finding someone to fall in love with, they kind of just match you based on um, their findings and stuff and she gets matched but there's like a glitch and someone else shows up on her match card also so it's her kind of finding her way being like torn not necessarily like oh love triangle but kind of like her discovering that there's more beyond what the society chooses for her um, but that was a really good book and so is the sequel but I'm really excited for the third one okay so that's all my March favorites um this was kind of fun I think I, I I think I could get used to doing monthly favorites videos so yeah leave a comment down below about books or whatever comment down below some of your March favorites and make sure to give this video a 
happy little thumbs up if you'd enjoy watching more favorites videos, just so I kind of know. Okay, so I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.